what we're doing over here in this area is we are clearing out the ground where the site is going to be. When we talk about the site, there's going to be a crushing plant and there's going to be our pans. The reason why we're clearing the ground is you'll notice that we have a layer going all the way down with kimberlite rock. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to leave these with inside the ground. We want to extract as much as possible, remove as much as kimberlite as we can, so we can hopefully start recovering more diamonds as we crush them. And that is our reason right now for taking out so much soil from the ground itself. The amount of kimberlite that is laying down on the ground just have a zoom in over there, you'll see all the kimberlite is lying down everywhere. Now it's critical that we collect as much as possible because what we want to do is we want to process all of it. You'll see everywhere on the ground we're sitting with huge chunks of kimberlite. And this big rock itself that you see over here, that's a kimberlite. Now we want to be able to crush that. We'll be putting those into the crushers, we're going to the jaw crushers, then secondary crushers, cone crushers, and then rotary crushers. You'll see it's just endless amounts of kimberlite. Now what we're finding is that the kimberlite is in different pockets. We're having a lot of pockets where we have a lot of quantities and then we're having a lot of pockets of bits and pieces. Now this is obviously where they collected and probably moved some of the kimberlite rocks that they couldn't crush back in the day. But you'll see a perfect example now of the kimberlite rock that I'm talking about the pockets. You'll notice this area over here. So you'll see this area over here, here there's a lot of kimberlite rocks. Some are smaller, some are bigger, but these are what we'll need to crush. Um, the formula is, what generally said is that within a size of kimberlite rock about one-tenth of that would be a diamond, which means if you had a kimberlite rock which was a 10 cm, the potential of a diamond in there would be about a 1 cm. So obviously our hopes of finding not just the smaller pieces, but also the bigger pieces because the bigger pieces would potentially have bigger diamonds inside. 